What's up guys, this is Zach Hample coming to you from Tropicana Field for the second straight day and this video is going to be completely different from anything you've seen before on my channel. As you can see, I'm outside right now with a bunch of my newest friends. What's up guys? What's up? So, I announced a few weeks ago that I was going to be here by popular demand. People have been asking me to do a meet and greet. So this is the first time that I've done one at a major league stadium. The Phillies are here today. It's a one o'clock game. There was a game last night, so there might not be batting practice. Could be pretty tough to catch baseballs today, but hopefully at least a few of us will get on the board. It's Jackie Robinson Day today, April 15th, so we're gonna see some festivities related to that. And other than that, I'm just really excited to hang out with everybody. It's about half an hour till this place opens, so we're just gonna chill outside here for a bit and then get on in there. My name? Yeah. Name and number for Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with Ethan, who came up with his own cup trick made out of a plastic cup. And this is pretty cool. It's a little bit different from mine. Basically, the idea behind the cup trick, I've done a whole video on the glove trick, but with cup tricks, you need to have a cup that has a rim that's slightly bigger than the ball, but then it narrows a little bit the, the more deep inside you go, and it has to have some weight to push down. So Yours basically has a separate weight situation right there, right? I just hooked it up with this little plastic cup and I put some lead weights in it and it makes it pretty heavy and it just suck around the ball. Yeah, nice sturdy string and something like this is obviously cool with security here. We all had our bags checked so, you know, you guys out there can get creative with coming up with little devices to pick up baseballs. That's pretty cool. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. How come giving back Trout's first home run was so much easier than A-Rod's 3,000 hit? Well, when Trout hit his first Major League home run, he was a 19-year-old batting 190. And yeah, he was a top prospect, but the ball itself, it only had potential. It wasn't actually worth a ton of money at that point. But with the A-Rod ball, there was so much history behind it. It was his 3,000th hit. Um, I just really needed to think about the A-Rod ball and take it home and enjoy having it for the weekend. With the Trout ball, I just pretty much knew I was going to give it to him after the game. So what's your favorite ball that you've ever caught in game? Oh, I get that question a lot, actually. I'm going to go with the last home run that the New York Mets ever hit at Shea Stadium. Um, Carlos Beltran, 2008. Um, that, that's even a, a more favorite ball of mine than the A-Rod 3000th yeah. hit. Because with the A-Rod ball, I was just completely stunned. But with the Beltron ball, the last Mets home run, I was totally excited. And, I mean, that really stands out the most for me, actually. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Awesome. I'm trying this on. Why not? <laughs> What do you think, guys? Should this be my new look? <laughs> what was your reaction when Aaron Judge robbed you that one game? Oh, man. In the playoffs last year at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, I was all set to catch a Francisco Lindor home run, and then this six foot seven monster just jumped up out of nowhere and caught it right in front of my glove. I was glad that I did not interfere with the ball in play, because I think I would have been killed in New York. I was happy for the Yankees, but I was sad for me, because I always want to catch every baseball. I don't have a favorite team, so any ball that's flying in the air, I want it. Oh! <laughs> okay, so there is an opportunity to get a toss-up right here. There is no batting practice, as I predicted. Here's the challenge. Like I said, Jackie Robinson Day, so all the players are wearing t-shirts that say Robinson 42 on the back. So it's gonna be extra tricky to recognize them and get their attention to get them to throw baseballs to me. But I'm hopeful. Yummy! Yanni Chirinos, hooking it up right there. So the streak lives. This is now 1,411 consecutive games for me with at least one baseball. A streak that goes back to 1993. So feeling great about that. And if you take a closer look at the ball, you can see that it has a commemorative logo for the Rays 20th anniversary. I got one of these last night, and as I mentioned in that video, that logo was not quite perfect, a little bit rubbed off. This one actually looks better, so feeling great right now.
This is really cool. I've actually never been down here right next to the raised tank because there's always a long line. But today, no batting practice, not a whole lot going on. So I'm here early enough, just walk right in. And you can touch these things. There are signs on the wall that explain where on their bodies to touch them. And they feel really slippery, almost kind of gross. But I love it. This is really, really cool. What's up, guys? Uh, how many balls did you collect? I heard you got like close to a million. Well, not quite a million. Maybe someday if I keep doing this. But I got my 10,000th ball last year. So at this moment, my lifetime total is 10,223. third inning. Denard Spann hit a leadoff home run for the Rays. They're now on top two to one. And I'm hanging with a couple of guys here, Joseph and Douglas, who each have Florida spring training balls on them right now. I have not gotten one. Got some Arizona balls. This is actually the first time that I've seen one of the Florida balls in person. So guys, show the logos to the camera. Look at the difference right there. This is how it's supposed to look. And this one is just smudged into oblivion. So of course, I was talking about the condition of the Rays 20th anniversary balls that I got. As tough as it is to catch these things, you then have to deal with the luck factor. It might just end up looking really wonky. So good luck, you guys. People ask me to sign all kinds of stuff, and this is definitely the most embarrassing photo of me ever. It's actually a screenshot from my Insta story, making out with a statue, so you got it. Let's do it. I'll sign it. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you just heard that, but that is thunder. Tornado warning. There is a tornado warning in this area. If this game were outdoors, it would definitely be uh, in a delay right now, and they'd probably move everybody from the seating bowl undercover somewhere. Yeah, there's some serious stuff going on outside. Anyway, as, whoa, did he just get hit in the head? CJ Crone? I guess he's all right. Okay, there's a lot of stuff happening right now. It's the bottom of the fifth inning. The Phillies are up five to three. And I'm here with Jake, an employee here at the TROP, who's just given me a couple of items for me to give away to you guys. So first of all, I was just talking about Florida spring training balls. You can see here is a pristine one. All right. And inside this little box, can I just give this to you for a second? We have another type of commemorative ball. We have Carl Crawford on the outside of this box, and Kevin Kiermeyer, and Wade Boggs. Check that out. And look at the ball itself. Devil Rays and the 20th anniversary logo. So I'm going to give away these two things together as a prize right here on YouTube. I did a giveaway on Instagram yesterday. It's time for some YouTube love. So you have to be subscribed to me, all right? You have to like this video, and you have to post a comment. I'll choose someone randomly, and both of these things together will be given away. Good luck. <laughs>
Oubre Ramos closing the door on the Rays to complete the sweep. Phillies are off to a really good start this year. The Rays, not so much. And you know what? I actually have a little bit more to say and more to do. It looks like there's going to be some action on the field, so let's go check that out. What a way to close out the day here at Tropicana Field, getting to walk on the actual field, on the warning track, past the dugout, down the left field foul line, and out to the outfield. So you can see right now, that's where I'm standing, shallow left field. And you know, I've been on several different major league fields over the years, but this is the first one that I've been on that actually has an artificial surface. So come down with me right now, and let's take a close up look at it. You can see that if you actually grab the stuff that's embedded in the turf, you can see that there's this sort of rubbery synthetic material which softens the ball when it lands so it's not too springy. It makes it better for the players to dive on. And if you're watching a game on TV and you see a super slow-mo close-up shot of a ball landing, you might see this stuff kind of pop up in the air. So I'm really getting a kick out of seeing it myself and getting to touch it. So stand back up with me and let's do a little 360 of this place to show everybody. You can see behind me, there are kids running the bases, there are people taking pictures, doing cartwheels, playing catch. There's a mascot over there. You can probably see it over my shoulder. So just a really festive atmosphere, so much fun, really great for the Rays to let fans come down onto the field and connect with this facility. It's a pretty weird stadium, but I've really gotten to like it a lot more this weekend. I had a great day today. I only got one ball, but I knew it was not going to be a big numbers day, so no problem there. That brings my lifetime total to 10,223 balls. This, of course, was extra fun because of all the people that came to hang out with me, this being the meet and greet. So thank you to everybody who made the effort to show up. It was really nice chatting with everybody, hanging out, taking some pictures, signing stuff. I will definitely do it again. Not sure when. My schedule is a little bit tough to predict, but stay tuned. And this is the second of three videos from Tropicana Field. I'll be back tomorrow, so stay tuned for that one, and thanks for watching this.